it's heartbreaking. It's, I, I yeah. cried when I first got here. It's yeah. very sad. It is heartbreaking, that's for sure. It's been here a long time. Yeah. I actually met my future husband here. It had actually stopped working probably two weeks before we heard the news of closing. I met my significant other here as well. <laughs> and we started building our life together. And I mean, we still, we still talk about it sometimes. And now we can, uh, if you know, we decide to have kids or we can tell our kids that we already have, well, we met at Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be home of the Joker's Burger. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes. Still serving up Whoppers, even after the building's gone. That's just like a good, giving a whole new meaning to uh, yeah. Yeah, the Whopper. So. <laughs> what most people didn't see was there was a lot of hard-working single moms trying to support their families, just trying to yeah. make ends meet, doing whatever they could. And, you know, and they believe, you know, most people believe the bad things about a strip club. This place was so much more than just right. a gentleman's club. A lot of people just saw the bad when they didn't look on the, look in the inside and see, you know, what we really were. Basically, this was um, a place, it was a place to go when you felt like you didn't have anybody else. We made a family. Um, all the staff, the dancers, the waitresses, bartenders, we were all kind of a family. Memorabilia. So how does it feel now? Uh, heartbreaking. It really does. It's heartbreaking. It kind of feels like home.